This time at KFK, we head out to Galliot Bank. Coriander. But it's so shallow. We're slowly making our way. Hopefully we don't get stranded here though. We check out the sandbar in the middle of nowhere and discover some caves. We're just going in. Ow. It's sharp. Welcome to Wildly Intrepid. I'm Alex. And this is Corey. Three years ago, we sailed south from Canada as newbie sailors. Now we share our love of travel with our baby girl, Coral, as we explore new areas of the Bahamas. Join us for our weekly adventure. located in the southern Exumas. We stopped here to go see the Galliot Bank and to be near a cut to cross over to the Exuma Sound to sail further south in the Bahamas. We are going on an adventure to the banks, the Galliot Bank, which is somewhere over there. Can't see a single thing, but it's supposed to be a mile and a half away from here. That's gonna be fun. Looking for a sandbar in these shifting sands was quite challenging. From the surface of the water, you can't see anything. We knew that it was supposed to be west of our sailboat and south of Galliot Cays. So we kept searching in our little dinghy. But it's not the fastest with a little 3.3 horsepower. I thought I'd be walking on sand, but there's still some water. Anyways, we're gonna fly to Joan and get a bird's eye view on the Galliot Bank. There's a lot of colors, I don't know where to go. See a lot of colors, only feeling blue. There's a lot of colors. Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze So what did you find out with this flight? Well, I found out that flying a drone with cloudy conditions probably doesn't make the best footage and that that sandbar that looks like it's out of the water is out of the water so that's where we're going Well, I think we can go around that way yeah, and go over good. to Little Galliot why you're on the open sea cannot take this Over there it looks deeper, but we want to get to the sandbar over there because it's still like a foot and a half here. I can touch the ground. I see the sandbar over there. Pretty Still nice. seems pretty far though, eh? But this is probably going to be all low water when we get low tide. Unless we're already on the way up. Ah, oh, this is nice. We're going for a float across the sandbar. Waiting for deeper water so we can get to the other bar. It's just all coral. What's wrong? She wants to go to the sand. You want to get to the sandbar? She's like, yes! Bring me over. 
the deeper part of the sandbar. We've arrived. Have we? Just like, ah, uh, doesn't drop off a lot, but enough to make it, <laughs> make it motorable again. I think this is sand. It's far. It was a different feeling walking on this long, thin strip of sand in the middle of nowhere, surrounded entirely by water. I was really hoping Scobie or Dingy wouldn't fail on us because it would be a long paddle back. Luckily, sailing Vinyasa and Isabella, our friends, were on their sailboats and we could communicate with our handheld radio if we needed to. Let's go! Don't stop eating that sand, sweetie. It's not any better every time you try it. I know you want different flavors and stuff, but they're not that good, I'll be honest with you. Here's some sand for our collection. Awesome! Put it in your bra. This dark, ominous looking cloud had us kind of worried. We really didn't want to get caught in a squall out on the Galliot Bank. So time to pack up everything. Put the drone and things we didn't want to get wet in the dry bag because we knew this was going to be a wet ride back. We waved goodbye to our friends on Vinyasa who had left ahead of us. They had to pick up some friends in Georgetown. We were in no rush, so decided to stay behind and meet back up later on. We woke up to yet another day in paradise. The winter months tend to be very sunny with very little rainfall. And we were March 17th. This morning, we wanted to have a closer look at the shoreline of Cave K. Super cool! The undercuts, shaped by the wave action into the limestone, make it breathtaking and fun to look at from the dinghy. Climbing onto them is a whole other story. Better bring footwear or be extremely careful not to cut your feet wide open. It 
it didn't take us long to spot a small cave to go crawl into. through the cave. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's sharp. I can't do this. Alright, how much further back does this sucker go? Is that the end? I think so. Oh man, it is tight and it is sharp. Ow. I don't want to go then. Ow. <laughs> It was kind of cool with like some trees growing up through the hole and it doesn't go super far but it's pretty neat. Look at this marina. It is so protective. Cape Cay Marina is definitely somewhere you'd want to go if it was going to be blowing like crazy.
And it's not even that bad a current, but we didn't time it right. After sailing out of Cape Cod, we make it to Black Cay near Rolleville. We do some exploring and celebrate Corey's birthday. Thank you so much. And, of course, do some spear fishing. He's gonna get you. Well, you're not afraid of him, are you?